Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We got the forge fired up. We're fixing to make a knife. This is gonna be a special knife. So uh, stick with me. I'm not gonna talk a lot through this video. You guys have seen me make knives before, so we're strictly gonna build this knife. We'll talk briefly about it at the end of this video and uh, you'll see it in another video. I did wanna mention this knife is being made from this, what my daddy called it, a G Wheels. Um, I've got several of them. You've seen in another video, this is the plows pull behind the mule. These are very old. So, good quality steel. I don't know the exact thickness of that, but. Somebody asked me, these, most guys use a jig when you put an angle on a, on a blade, and that's the best way, okay? But somebody asked me, how do you manage to make it come out pretty close doing it by hand? And I wanted to explain this. The trick is, is once I've hammer forged this a bevel on each side, I've looked at it and hammered it about like I want it fairly close you can still see there's a lot of meat that has got to be taken off of that blade in the center it's still a sixteenth of an inch flat in there that was so that i could lay it down and grind it evenly here because when you hammer forge it that'll be wavy on that edge and you got to slick all that up but to get the angle the same once i've hammer forged that fairly flat I can feel when I push it down on there, it'll lay flat on that belt and I can feel it. So if you ever grind a swooping bevel on there, or what is called a convex grind, 
then it makes it much more hard. Uh, the way to fix that is is to put it down about where you want it and just hold it still for a little bit. And it'll make that flat. The more convex you get it, the longer it'll take it to be flat. But if you're steadily moving it all around with a convex, you're never going to get it out of there. you got to put it down and hold it still. So, uh, anyway, we coming along with this knife. Uh, I have got to take that down. I'm thinking about grinding this bone. This is a bone, but the only thing making me nervous, I don't know if you can tell right in there, there is a hairline fracture. Now, fill it full of epoxy and be careful pinning it. You're usually okay, uh, but I don't know. Because um, I've got to cut it off about right in there somewhere. And then I can put a bolster on that. So, I, I don't know. That, it would look, you know, somewhat like that. But I'm going to play with it a little while tonight. Uh, it's Tuesday night, and I'm out here grinding on it i've got the back down pretty much where i want it there's gonna be a, a hammer forged a little too much on each side that 90 degree spine everybody likes for a fell rod it's not gonna be all the way down the knife but there is plenty toward the front and back here to to do what needs to be done for that and it's just and i don't know that i've done that i think that piece of steel was just rounded right there Scat, excuse me. I'm gonna grind on this though some more. Taking a lot of that out. It is looking a lot better. I'm gonna try to get all this hammer out of it. I think all of it will come out of this edge. I like to leave a little bit in these sides right in there. That looks good to me. Well, we're pretty close. I know I have to get it to light. I'll clean it up, polish it a little bit. But we fixing, now I'm fixing to work on this back just a little bit back here.
big y'all this knife right here it's a little warm over here polishing on it seen the tip was a little crooked I wound up breaking the tip off so I had to reforge the tip out on this it's still a little bit warm it ain't like scalding hot it's been quenched I've been sanding on it but I reforged the tip on it. It is not swooped up as much as it was, which I think is probably a good thing. Still not a bad knife. Oh, uh, we reforged it, requenched it. Now I'm repolishing it. So <laughs> I just thought I'd let y'all know in this video we made a big boo boo and fixed it. I asked Brody, look at him, Brody. Come here. Come around over here. When Daddy broke that knife, what'd you say? What'd you tell Daddy? Why? When I broke that knife, what'd you say? <laughs> you don't remember? You said you could still fix it. <laughs> Brody said you could still make a knife. He said just fix it. <laughs> so that's what we did. He he's found him a worm, and he's got over here. He's got my water bucket and made a mud hole like we didn't have enough mud already. Brody, what are you doing? He's working. <laughs> Look, come here and show him your worm you got. Come here and show him your worm. He don't listen good. You gonna show him your worm? He's not gonna show you worm. 600 grit sandpaper. Alright, I am not through polishing on this, but I am fixing to put it together. I am far enough along so we are going to epoxy I've got this epoxy oh and I won't put a good bit and I may have to add some more I don't know But it's a two-part epoxy. I ordered it. It's in this box. It's two bottles. I got that on Amazon. I'll leave y'all a link to it. It's good epoxy. I've had good luck with it. I don't like the little tube. Oh, I don't know why I set up like this. It's better to do this this way. I do not want to bust this, though. Oh. Uh, All right. Now this will make a mess for you. I don't know if I got enough or not. I don't think I do. We're going to mix up. Get prepared here to make a mess. I got too much in it now. All right, make sure you turn everything the right way. Actually, we don't have too much epoxy.
All right, we're gonna let this set up good. I'm gonna wipe what epoxy I can off my handle here. Off of y'all's handle. Off of y'all's handle. Y'all, I've tried not to talk through this whole video right here on this one. I just wanted to build a knife, but I did want to talk a little bit. Okay, y'all. We got this knife ready to pin. It's actually been laying here for two days. So what I do, and uh, somebody, I was talking to somebody the other day about pinning these handles. I don't really pin them hard anymore. And what I mean by that is when you take this brass brazen rod, and this is just a short piece of it, and that's what I use to pin with. This is a one-eighth brazen rod. I can cut it. It's fairly soft. But with bone and certain woods like this Osage, Osage is a very hard, dense wood. If you really try to hit that hard and swell that pin out to make that handle tight, it'll bust. It'll split that wood, and this bone, more especially, will just splinter. So, uh, what I'm going to do right here is I've got this about where I want it. We're going to drill this, and I'm going to drill it with a 1-8 bit, which is the exact size of that, so we're not going to... And then I'll just lightly tap that handle okay i won't just really try to to bang into it so i'm just gonna put one pin in this because the epoxy is really what's holding it but the epoxy won't hold it by itself that handle will eventually come off of there so the pin helps hold it but the epoxy is what keeps it from wiggling and being loose so they kind of work together and you don't have to put as much stress on the epoxy or the pin so with the epoxy i have the ability to just pin this. But we've got to be very careful here because you can really screw up at this point. You want to make sure that you're in your tang that's in there. All the way through I'm going to taper my pin right here make sure I've got plenty all right I'm going to take this over here and I didn't show y'all this the other day when I was working on a knife Turn this on and... That's just enough. I know that don't like to focus much. But anyway, it's just slightly tapered. So from there, we're going to put the tapered end in there. We want to be careful. We don't want to bust that. It's very easy to do. That's the reason most people don't really like fooling with bone. And you notice I got it on a piece of leather. Keeping an eye.
Okay, I am going to ping this just slightly, and I'm going to do it on this anvil right here because it's got a good rounded spot. Make sure your ping is up on there. You notice I'm just lightly tapping that. I think I'm happy with that, and I'm going to polish this up just a little. rest of that I will do with a buffer. Y'all, I have been buffing on this knife some. It is not buffed to perfection. There is some lines in it. It, it is not meant to be perfect. But I did do a little more effort in polishing on this blade than some knives. Um, when I drilled through that pen, it chipped a little bit. I filled that with some epoxy and uh, smooth it up a little, but it's a little bit rough there. But this is solid, that epoxy, I smoothed all that out. And uh, so it's not rough on the end. Y'all, this knife has a good feel to it. But the most important thing is we're gonna give this knife away. Uh, you still got time. If you wanna share this video, make sure it's shared. I'm going back, everybody that commented that they shared a video somewhere, no matter where. In my last one, I was talking about giving this away. You can still share any other video you want to. You can comment, share it. I know we've picked up about 100 new subscribers since that video. Uh, we'll be coming up with a video of giving this away by the end of this week. Um, so this is the knife. This is what it looks like. Now, once it is given away, I will make a sheath for it. And uh, that way, whoever wins it can say I want it on the right hip or left hip. Um, it'll be a simple leather sheath. Um, I did order yesterday some a new side of leather because I was about out. I really couldn't make any sheaths or anything. I was kind of scrapping to make stuff. So I have a new side of leather coming, so maybe we can do some more light knife and leather working projects here pretty quick. Share this video, share any video you want to. Comment share it if you hadn't, if you've already commented that you shared a video, I've got your name wrote down. Um, but we're gonna give this knife away to somebody that shares a video. This is it. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Like, subscribe if you hadn't already. Thank y'all for watching. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.